Hey friends, it's Trisha here on Freedom Hill. I wanted to show you this hutch I got on Facebook Marketplace. This hutch is the exact right size for what I needed in my dining room. I have these boxes over here that I've been unable to unpack since we moved because I don't have any place to put those things. And it is good china in those boxes and a few other things. So I picked up this hutch and a few things I like about it is the size and the overall style. The top part lifts off and then below it has tons of storage. It also has a light. I don't know how well you can see that, but it has a light in there. And overall, this is just an excellent condition. What I don't like is the color. I don't like the handles. They're very, I think they're very 1980. But inside it has ample storage. It has a beautiful look to it. And again, these drawer pulls I don't care for. So I'm going to replace those. But the drawers are in great shape. Overall, I think this is a great find. I had originally seen this on Facebook Marketplace for $129, and then I saw it for $60. So the lady who owned it lowered the price to $60, so I thought, I can do $60. I thought it was worth $60. It's probably worth more, but that's what I was willing to pay. Anyway, so I am going to refinish this. I'm going to um, sand it down a little bit and paint the overall piece white, like a creamy white. And then this top part, just this part here, I'm going to paint gray. And I chose those colors because my dining room table is gray. It's got some stuff sitting here. It's gray and the chairs are white. The legs of the dining room table are white and the seat of the chairs is gray, a dark gray. So it's like a wood grain gray, kind of. So I will take you along and show you how this goes. Today I need to go, I need to look up the best paint to use and I need to go to Walmart and get that, have my husband or my sons separate the two pieces. We'll take the top part off and set them separately, and so I'm kind of going to make a bit of a mess, but that's how we get things done. Stay tuned. Thanks for coming along on this one. And just to show you a little more, we do have <laughs> a refrigerator <laughs> sitting in the middle of our dining room. That is because this refrigerator came with the rental house. It belongs to the owner, but we were able to get a new refrigerator that we installed yesterday. It serves our needs better. It um, actually fits the space better because that other refrigerator was too small for the space. This refrigerator fits perfectly. So we're really happy with it. I like it. It's very roomy. It's got all the bells and whistles you could want. And yeah. So stay tuned, see my hutch makeover. I have taken all the hardware except the hinges, which I will tape over. I'm not removing the hinges, but I've taken the hardware off the leaded glass out. And I also took out the glass shelf that was here. There was this shelf here. So I'm getting ready to paint and I'll be getting new hardware for this piece. So I'll, I have the old hardware. I might put it up on eBay or something, but I picked up chalk paint, linen white, and the charcoal. Now originally I was going to do this portion in a stain, but I decided I didn't want to sand it down to the raw wood, so I'm going to do a gray, like a charcoal paint on top of this. And then I picked up some tap cloth, tack cloth, and a wax to seal it when I'm done. So I probably won't get started until tomorrow, but I'm ready to go. It's all set to go and I just need to get started. My son and husband will remove the top 
for me and we'll move this stuff out of the way and set the top off to the side so I can work it over there. And we're still waiting for the refrigerator to be moved because today has been a lot of running around and appointments, but we'll get there. Anyway, I just wanted to show you my progress. I haven't started painting, but I have all my stuff. I am ready to go for this project. Stay tuned and thank you so much. Hello there. Thought I'd show you some of the progress. The hutch has two coats on it right now. And today I will try to do the last two coats. Now this top part, because it's darker, it might only need one more coat. But the white's definitely going to need two because it's covering such a dark stain. There's my progress. Stay tuned. Hey friends. I want to give you an updated look at the hutch. The painting is complete. The drawers are over there. Tonight after dinner, I intend to apply wax. And then a couple hours after that, I will buff the wax and it will be complete. So I'm super excited. Now I had them put the top on before I waxed it because I don't want wax under this part. I don't want to do that because then I wouldn't be able to set this on here till like a week. And I just didn't want to wait that long. And then if I ever want to change it out, there won't be wax under this section. So I had the guys put it back together for me. And I really love the color. And I'll try to show you a little bit here. My dining room table has a gray top and white legs. The chairs have gray seats and white legs and white backs. So that's why I went with the white and gray color scheme. I think I already told you all that, but yeah, I could make this a shaker style if I remove this molding, this piece here, it is separate, there's a seam, but I'm gonna leave it because I already didn't remove it. It's really not shaker style, the rest of it anyway. So the style is a little different than the dining room table and chairs but I don't necessarily like to be matchy-matchy and I thought it really matched well with the colors. So there we have it. I'll update you when it's finished. Hello friends, it's Trisha here again and I wanted to show you the finished product. My hutch makeover is complete. I'm super happy with how it turned out. One thing I noticed that when the hutch was brown, the leaded glass didn't show very well. And I'll sort of picture here to show you what I mean. But once I painted it white, it's like the leaded glass really pops and I love how it looks. So I think it's a great turnout. It was four coats of chalk paint and a coat of wax and then I buffed the wax. I didn't buff it to a sheen, like a real shiny sheen because I just didn't want that look, but yeah. I'm super happy with how it turned out, and it's a great addition to our dining room. Fits in this corner very nicely. And now I'll be able to unpack the rest of my kitchen items. the handles and doorknobs, door pulls and doorknobs from Home Depot. And I like the shape of them. See a little bit there. They're not just regular round ones. And I put them on vertically, so I liked that. These are wide door pulls, five and a quarter inch, rather than the standard three and a half, but I really like them. They're called a flat black, and I wanted something either dark gray or black to match the base, the top of the base. Inside this hutch has a glass shelf. And yeah, that's the light up there. So 
I can't really set anything on the painted part for about a week, but I can fill the drawers and the bottom part and then put some things on the glass shelves. The rest of it, they say after you wax and buff it, it needs to cure for about a week before you set anything on it. So I've told my family, don't set anything on this. But I'm really happy with it. And it was actually a fun project. My husband is gonna hide the core. He has this little thing that'll put the core just beyond the edge like that. But he hasn't installed that yet, but he will get to that so the cord won't show. But I can still turn the light on and off easily. So, this was a fun project. I enjoyed it. It was a good distraction to some things that are going on in my life right now. And I hope that I can get it filled this week and enjoy it for many years to come. Thank you for coming along. I would love to have you all subscribe. If you're not, God bless you. Have a great day. Bye.